En ce qui concerne l'Irak, et après nos conversations, je constate que, à ce stade, toutes les options restent ouvertes. C'est pourquoi j'estime qu'il euh, faut intensifier la recherche d'une solution diplomatique pour que l'Irak accepte que l'UNSCOM puisse recommencer à travailler sans condition. Absolutely basic. And this is also what was provided for by the resolution. And in this diplomatic work, uh, the uh, cohesiveness of security. Yeah, as uh, the foreign minister said, obviously the primary topic of our discussion was the situation in Iraq. And the United States and France agree that the situation is very grave. Saddam Hussein, the resolution du Conseil de sécurité est inacceptable. Uh, Foreign Minister Bedrine and I agree that Iraq is fully responsible for the current crisis by its deliberate efforts to prevent UNSCOM from doing its, its work. These are fundamental violations of the Council's resolutions and cannot be tolerated. We discussed all the options, <coughs> diplomatic and otherwise, to compel Iraq to reverse its course, and I very much appreciate the statement that he has just made. I explained to Foreign Minister Vidrine our view that we have all but exhausted the real diplomatic options and that the time is fast approaching for fundamental decisions. Our objective is to thwart uh, Saddam Hussein's capacity to develop and use weapons of mass destruction and to limit his ability to threaten his neighbors. Uh, we have said many times that we prefer to have a diplomatic solution, but we need to resolve this problem. And uh, we have also said that we will take what necessary means in order to achieve those two objectives. I think that we have to remember what our objectives are, and we have to remember that uh, Saddam Hussein cannot keep flaunting international authority. And uh, we would, as I said, prefer a diplomatic route, but we'll take what is, we'll do what is necessary uh, to achieve those two objectives. No. <laughs> 